Well, hello, it's your girl, Dimply Bean, at it again with another piece of content. Just an FYI, if you like this current makeup that I'm sporting, check out my previous video where I do a little tutorial on this. Today though, I am going to be doing a slightly different video than that. So I have been seeing a particular video for quite some time now, and that is the rainbow into a really cool pattern, seemingly flawlessly executed every single time. I don't know how these people are doing it. I don't know whether it's a super easy thing to do or whether these people are just witches and wizards and they just seem to be able to do it. Or you know, it's the logical thing of that they've practiced it many times and that we're just seeing them after they've accomplished this particular talent and then seemingly make it look so easy that you wanna do it yourself and then you attempt to do it yourself and then it just does not come out not nearly as good as their what they did. But regardless of that, I wanted to recreate it anyway. So I went out and bought the Meron Prisma face paint and this seems to be the kind of thing that they are using where it's got all of the colours all here in the same pan together. I have yet to even try this out, so this is me on my first ever attempt on trying to do this. It could come out awful, it could come out great. Chances are it's gonna come out awful, but I wanna do it anyway. <laughs> So I've got this. This is, I think it's water activated. Yes, it's water activated. I've got my water here in an adorable mug, of course. And I also, in my typically unpreparedness, didn't buy a new brush for this. I went for the flattest brush that I have, which is this boy here that I very rarely use because it's got very stiff bristles and doesn't blend at all. It's essentially useless as a brush for the exception of this exact thing, I feel. The only difference is, is that all the videos that I've seen have used a flat ended brush, whereas this is curved. So I might not get the effect that I want. I mean, the chances of me getting the effect that I want are very slim anyway, so I've dipped this in water. I'm just gonna go like that. I think I used too much water. Oh no, I'm already making a mess. Oh no. So attempt number two, I'm just gonna swipe it downwards. Now the thing with this is that you can't go in any other direction other than the direction of the rainbow, obviously. You don't wanna like start doing some crazy sideways movements or try and flip it and go the other way, which is exactly what I've just done and almost ruined the entire thing. So I'm now gonna try and create a nice flower pattern on my chest. Moment of truth. It's a rainbow! Oh god, I messed it up a little bit. Okay, let's just go over it. It's not a disaster, it's just not very good. It's a rainbow! Yeah! Well, I'm like looking at a little diagram on how to draw a flower. Mine does not look like the photo. They seem to create like a straight edge. Oh. Oh no. This is difficult. Why does mine not look as good as the photo and sling? You know what? Screw the flower. I am gonna go crazy and just start painting. Oh. Oh, it drips. Damn it, I dropped it. Now my floor is rainbow-fied. The drips are pretty cool. I'm just trying to convince myself that this is coming out okay when we all know for certain that it isn't. This may not be coming out the way that I wanted it to, but this is very, very fun. Where the hell is yellow gone? Okay, the rainbow is kind of disappearing a bit, which is a bit concerning. At the moment it kind of just ends in like a weird way here. So I'm gonna like try and do something to like, I don't even know. What if I do it from my mouth like that Snapchat filter? Ah, messed it up. I think I need to stop before I have any more fun. Ooh, actually, I might just do some of this. That doesn't work. I need a different brush. And we're done. Mm. 
So as always, if you like this video, then don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more content like this or my spookier content, then hit that subscribe button. If you want to be a full-on stalker, then hit that bell icon and uh, keep to date with all of this. <laughs> and comment because I love reading your comments. There is the hair in my mouth. And that's it. Bye.